Hello, all you lovely ladies and gentlemen. I am Azacreth, and I am back here with my good friend and peerless rocketeer in Europe Universalis 4. Say hello. Ah, uh, what are these idiots even doing? I don't understand this madness. Why? How, how am I losing a war to a one-province country? Oh, hello. So yeah, Rocketeer is back under the, in the helm of Malacca. We paused for a few minutes so we could get to that. And now we're going to give him some time to look over his country and figure out what's going on before we restart the game. And by restart, I mean get back on, because we're not restarting this. Yes. We've invested too much time. Okay. The simple way of explaining all this is that, quite simply, I am occupying the country, country of Patani, which, which unfortunately had a bunch of alliances, and the one nation which actually was decided to attack me is attacking me and somehow winning, which is annoying. How are they winning? Is it uh, all like, they're winning? Is it all battles or? No, it's more like. They have an act. Their navy can't seem to be stopped and keeps blockading mine. Oh. Uh, well, what's the war goal? Oh, you have Patani, so you just need to keep waiting. Yeah, at this point, I'm just waiting it out. I'm just. Exactly. The so, whenever you're ready, thing feel free is, to start time. The annoying thing is that I'm hemorrhaging money until such time. Yeah, money. You could take out loans. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my manpower to return, and for these cores to finish, and for relations to go up with this one country. While I'm watching Gujarat horribly fail in a single war against one country. Hehehe. He he. Bhagwana and Kanda. Oh, big one. And that's just what I did, though. Kandesh is not a role. I stand mistaken. I stand corrected. I'd ask how you've been, but it's only been a few minutes since we recorded the last part, so it'd be a kind of redundant question, wouldn't it? <laughs> just a little bit of a redundant question. So now I basically just have to wait out the rest, uh, uh, more or less just wait them out until they're willing to, uh, until they're willing to accept their complete and total annexation. Yep. Of course, they won't be doing that while time's paused, but... Well, of course. But, so far they don't seem amicable to the situation. Meanwhile, Kada, the forces that should be helping me, are completely and utterly useless. Of course. You can't make it too easy. <sighs> of course we can't. That would actually make sense. Anyway, you ready to start? I am ready. What with your lovely... Well, I will have to say that... Nothing. Oh, at least the AI isn't actively perpetuating acts of insanity like I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yep. Though I expect the countries are reevaluating their relationships now that we reloaded the sin. Brought up this new save. They tend to do that. I expect we may see some paradigm shifts or something like that. Oh, there's a blue country. They always been here. I guess they've always been here. I mean, yes, they have always been here. Oh well. Bahman has finally got some allies. Good for them. Well, waiting for this war to take over so that a, so that it uh, will become my vassal. <laughs> My cores are at 90, two of my cores are at 90%, it feels good. Makes up for the fact that my tech needs like 800 points to go up one level. I'm sorry. Being Indian is not fun. 
Ah, this is Pasai. Very good. Very good. How would you like to be invaded today? I feel sure like it a lot, actually. I didn't mean to do... Go, Imperialist. You must do it. You must burn... You must burn, pillage, and destroy. You have to pillage their livestock. Sadly, however, I don't actually think I can move it. We've got three rebel factions brewing, but they're pretty not relevant at the moment. War exhaustion is slowly going down. We managed to fight off. I feel like I'm using anything else. There. War exhaustion is gone. Yay me. I'll make things slightly better. <laughs> no. We're not making them independent. Nobody gets freedom in this country. Who wanted freedom? Uh, let's see, well, Kaladi wants freedom, and Maratha wants freedom, and Balmanis doesn't want freedom, they just want unity. So, nobody important, basically. Hey, course finished. Huzzah. You're my territory now. Good we'll night. never be going back. Suffered casualties. Oh, I have a loan? Yes, I should go pay that. Loan well, paid back. You're telling you're telling me I can't salt the fields of my enemies? Uh not yet. No, I think Scorched Earth is a higher tech level than you have. Tells me I can only do as I control, which is annoying. But okay then. Huh. So I'm just going to have to sit and wait that out, hoping that someone doesn't do something stupid. Yep, nothing major happening here, still. I may have made a mistake paying off this loan, but I'm not losing that much money, so it's okay. And I have basically no inflation, so that's not a problem. Maybe I should become a defender of the faith. He says I don't have money for that. Never mind. 
Why does it cost so much money to become Defender of the Faith? Why doesn't it cost money in the first place? Presumably you have to build all those opulent cathedrals and pay for all those fancy hats. But we're Hindu. We don't do that. Yeah, but you still have to pay for fancy hats. That's one of the main tenets of a religion. If you don't have fancy hats, it's not a religion. Well, good harvest. Well, let's... Yeah, yeah I have more so, money now. Anyway. So I'm not making a mistake. Hmm. I've actually been oh, getting... Hey. Oh, they didn't eat them. Darn. Well, then it's gonna be home later. Gorjats set you as their rival. That's not in any way... Oh. Gujarat just finished up their war that they've been having for a long time. They annexed, um, uh, Kathia War. So, we're probably gonna have a fight sooner or later. Fortunately, I have a lot of allies. That's good. Monetary problems have been resolved for the most part, thanks to a gracious donation from a good harvest, which could have gone to administrative power, but I didn't want them to. Yay me. Well, Ming won't be doing anything for a while. Could they have a mission set as manpower reserves. Which means they need to get to like 90%. And you auto fail if you go to war, so. Hmm. Also, I see you're winning your current war. I've won it, technically. It's just the annoying part is they're not going, to, they aren't accepting my demands, and I don't have the naval forces to fight everyone else. Ooh, whoa. What's this then? Get general. There's influence. Or was I forming a claim? Oh yeah, boy. That sure. moment when you realize you screwed up and you don't even remember what you screwed up doing. Well, and I have another general now. Yay, me. Because I took the easy option. Ooh, he's a good general, too. This guy's a 3 4 4. Let's trade generals. You. I did not do that. You. I just you. realized what my insane guy tried to do. What? Um. Apparently, at some point in this administrator's infinite wisdom, they tried to claim control of a province that's on the other side of the continent through fabricating claims. Gujarat is embargoing me. Yay. Two can play it back in. Yeah, there is no way I'm white piecing out at this point. There. <sighs> Tit for tat. You're gonna make me have to, aren't you? Of course. It wouldn't be fun otherwise. Alternatively, if you wait ten years, then you'll automatically have one hundred percent. Because you have, have the war goal. True enough, but sitting here for ten years. You could always do covert actions. Covert actions on a one province country are already control? Uh, no, on Pasai. Yeah, true enough. Let's see if they. Ha yeah, they have no rebels, but, uh. De dealing with their. Here, I'll help out. Can't do anything. Eh. You don't have to. Although if you want, I mean, you want some territory in the Indian Ocean? Yes, give me all your land. 
Not my land. All of it. Not my land. You can have their land, though. I'm also exploring. I might be able to have manpower reserves. Feels nice. You don't have an army, you don't have a navy. I can afford to send. Uh, yeah. So, apparently all their war scores are coming from blockading you. Pretty much. Which, unfortunately, there's little I can do about that because of the simple fact that I lost one naval battle and have little way of contacting their forces because naval combat in this game is annoying. On the plus side, you have, like, 40 war score? Yeah. Is Poseidon the war leader, or is Patani? Uh, Patani is the war leader, I believe. They are the ones to beat the alliance. It's just Poseidon actually fights in strength. Oh yeah, good news. Mongolia is back. That's good news. They managed to uh, get independence from the Oirat. Ooh. Yay! Next, maybe next good. time you should be a Mongol horde. You can just be a different country every episode. Would you like me to try that? See <laughs> how badly I screw up the whole world. This mission should almost be over. I'm up 93 and 800 relations. Maybe my next mission will be for annexing a vassal or something. That'd be nice. Watching wars, watching the fight. Yes. I have one fifty one. Yes. Sixteen more. I won't make it one hundred to a one ninety. Great. Just gonna send him a gift. Yay! They're slowly running out. They're slowly getting away from my ports, which is nice. Their fleets are diminishing in size as they have. Defending the Hamlet. Well, if I wait to the 1500s, 
Their claims will expire, and then I can vassalize them, and then annex them. Yeah, that'll take forever. Slowly but steadily, I'm invading their homeland. I do not see any slow or steady invasion of their homeland. Well, at the moment, I'm waiting for my army to cross the Straits of Johor. So, what are you going to do once the war is over? Are you just going to annex Pasai too? Depends on how that war does. Fair enough, I suppose. I suppose. Hmm. Oh, let's see some things. Good news, Ryan. You, I mean, imperialist. You don't have rebels either. You can call me Ryan if you wish. It's not. No, like it's that. fine. It's fine. It's, it's not a terribly uncommon name. You're just like shouting imperialist, don't you? Yes, I do. In fact, this is the perfect game for shouting imperialist because this is the game about imperialism. Even when we're Eastern Asian nations. Yeah. What are you? Imperialism oh. is the act of making an empire. As opposed to colonialism, which is about colonizing things. Yeah. Uh, one more month and I'll finish this mission. Yay. Finally. I am going. Why don't you write Got the core, order fiction, wants your calls. Wonderful. <clears throat> This have a core thing that's killing me. If your core went away, it wouldn't be a problem. Core problems, so it'll never go away. So. I'll just have to unally and conquer them at some point. As you do. As you do. Finish that mission. Arrival of our rival. <laughs> so it's either conquer North Compound or conquer North Compound. Oh, I think that's a war that's going to happen soon. How's the timer looking? The timer says five minutes. Friend attitude toward Fujianagar. Why are you friend hmm. toward me? So, um, let's see. While we're on this, I guess while we're on the subject, and Star Wars has been a big thing lately. Oh, uh, what are your thoughts on the old Star Wars: The Clone Wars show? The old one, like 2000... the 2003 series, or either 2003 or 2008, dude. Whichever one. Yeah. I have not seen the 2003 series, so I couldn't really comment on that. Oh. As for the other one, uh. I enjoyed it for the most part. There was some bad stuff, but there was some good stuff present too. 
Well, yes, there was some bad stuff, particularly early on when they had to be more of a kid's show than anything else, but... Why? How do you feel threatened toward me? <sighs> Useless allies. But... I should dissolve this alliance. I know all of your uses. Particularly early on, it kind of had to be a kid's show, but I felt like even by season two, they were doing good things with it. Particularly in The Mandalorian, which I know everybody is going to hate, <laughs> but hear me out. Actually making The Mandalorian a single-handed race of warrior badnesses was kind of interesting and depth and deepened the character. They were a nation that didn't always want war all the time, forever. End of story. I suppose that's fair. Hmm. I'm not gonna say making them outright pacifists was the best direction that could have ever been taken with it, but it was certainly an interesting one that I was willing to explore. True enough, true enough. Yeah. It's a Alright. Move up to the border. Just for security reasons, of course. And by the end of it, honestly, I loved most of the characters that got a lot more depth in the show than they ever did in the movies themselves. I mean, that's kind of a nature of having extra time, but to be honest, I genuinely did cry just a little bit when the soap. Uh, when Ahsoka went to Taco Bell, let's go with that. Let's hope that's not actually a fan fiction for everyone's sake. When she went to Taco Bell, sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is, and I'm sure I don't want to read it. The Galactic Star Wars Taco Bell in the future. Yep. Well, you know, in the future, there are I mean, only a tacos. long, long time ago, far, far away. Because it's not yeah. the future. Yeah, time is cyclical, so it looped back in on itself. That's why the past is our future, and the future is our past, and why Billy Joel is apparently God. Billy Joel is God? When did this happen? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it, 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 Eric Truman does Joe DiMaggio. Have you won that war yet? No. Not particularly, because it's... <sighs> what? longer should I wait this war? Poking through the ledger? Using the ledger isn't cheating, right? Gujarat has 13,000 men. You're just as unwilling to become my vassal as you are to be Plus 13,000 manpower. I have zero manpower. But also, I, I have... Do kind of, I do kind of wish you could do a bit of a give and take thing. Like, nah. we'll, we'll pay you some money, and then you do the thing we want you to? Call my diplomats. 169. 
If I can boost their relations by 20, then I could vassalize them. I don't have enough to do that. Well, once I get rid of this. Yeah, that's Hello. the timer. <laughs> so are you oh. in a good place to stop? Yeah, it's about as good as place as any. Hopefully right, they accept my peace deal. I've bought it out. And we will see you all next time. Hey, you're still in my shtick. Hey, it's technically our shtick, just saying. Also, you can say it again. Whatever. So, Don't this read has been piece. Europa Universalis 4. I'm Azacraft, my good friend, Pure Rocketeer. We'll see you next time. <laughs>